Welcome back. This is Arcage, and I'm in an area called Mirage, where you're able to purchase a lot of things. Now, this is the glider area, and this is the one I see a lot of the streamers using. So I'm guessing that's like the best one. But it seems as though um, you're like window shopping. Oh, these are the fancy looking ones. Wow. Okay, that butterfly is a little bit too feminine for me. And what is this back here? Balloons? Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. I had not heard of being able with a pink motorcycle on the butt, on the side of the uh, basket. So anyway, this is uh, an area in the game that you portal to called Mirage where you purchase a lot. Oh my God, do you see those houses? A lot of things in the game. And I figured that this was, oh, you see, you see, see me going down the hill? See, look, look, look. Just the little touches. I actually feel like I'm going down the hill. Okay, I figured since my mount is level 15, this would be a good time for me to get another mount and level it up. This is a small house. And now I'm completely distracted with the, with the housing here. So let's check this out. Uh, housing is big in this game. And as you can see on the side there, there's uh, farming. And as long as you pay your taxes, yes, even in this game you have taxes, your house is protected. But if you don't pay your taxes, then, you know, we can take that land. <laughs> So a lot of people want to get the housing for the protected farm area. Uh, this is another style house. I did not realize there were so many uh, different houses. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. It's small, but not bad. And do you notice that the sounds when you go in the house stop? Did you notice that? So... Let's see this one. Isn't that the same as that one? Let's see. Now one of the benefits, and I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work in the English version. Oh, the window's open. Is that not badass? Okay, Um, one of the reasons, another reason other than the farming as to why you want a house is because you can put a bed in your house. And when you put a bed in your house, you see at the bottom, left hand corner where you see labor points labor points are the amount of points you can use for crafting so you can't just do anything okay let's look at this so this is how much the house costs and you can tell you know like taxes are three gold now like right now i have three gold right now so i don't i can't really say if that's expensive or not but i do know as you get um the houses become larger, the taxes go up. So anyway, um, this isn't bad. This is not bad at all. Okay, so you have the bed and you have the labor points. Now, the labor points will restrict you on what you can... Okay, I'm very sorry to disturb you. He's using the bed. <laughs> um, restrict you on what you can do with crafting the reason why you want a bed and i'm not sure if this is going to be in um treon's version but you will recoup labor points quicker if you log off laying in a bed similar to you know when you log out in a city you get rested xp you know that kind of thing so this is a slightly larger house oh i didn't mean to hit that a hundred stars and 10 gold taxes. And I'm not really sure how much it would take to get the resources for these either, but these, this, this is not bad. It's not bad. I'm not sure that it's worth seven more gold. It would depend on how much more farming land I got with it. Now, from what I'm told, you can purchase additional land, uh, but... The taxes on everything will go up, like if you put down another farm on your land. So you really want to be careful 
and make sure that you can afford the things that you do. Can I get in here? This looks like a mini castle. Look at this. Sweet. I don't know what this is for. I can't get in there. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, but this is, wow, more houses? Are you kidding me? I came here to get a mount. I am so far off, so far off. Now, this one has a two-story. 500 stars. Oh, now, this seems a little on the pricey side. Um, but I think it might be worth it, though. Let's, 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 let's go in and see. Because you can put things in, like, um, you know, a cooking pot, an anvil, so that you can do your uh, crafting in your house. You can also set your um, hearth, for lack of another word, to a portal back to your house. Now, this is a nice amount of floor space. And then you have this deck on the out. Okay, this this will be. Yeah, let's let's. This time it's Pepsi. It's not water. I'm living on the wild side. Um. Yeah, this this is nice. This is nice. This I could I could do this. I could do this. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Now this one has a different, no, is this the same? Let's see. I love the little fact that, um, no, this is the same. I love the fact that you can open, I mean, usually you can open. Actually, a lot of times you can't really open the doors and just go in. You portal in. You know what I'm saying? Ah. <sighs> I feel like I'm window shopping. Boats? I am so distracted. This is the fishing boat. A hundred stars. That's not bad. And you can do a lot with this, and that will help with your crafting. I think this is the combat boat. Let's see here. Wow. And you see the logo on the sales? You can actually upload your own logos and stuff for your sales. That little attention for detail. Here's another boat. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I came here to get a mount. We're going to get a Oh, wow. These are the water underwater houses. I know, I know, but these are the little cottages. The, the benefit to this is that you can have an underwater farm, and your underwater farm, obviously, gives you different stuff than your above-ground farm. Did you hear that? All of the You come into your house, and it's nice and peaceful. You leave the outside worries away. You know, your, your, your house is like your castle. These all look sort of the same. Made out of like bamboo or something like that. But anyway, that's why you would want to get a under a, one of these type of houses because you can put a farm up underneath. All right. Now that we've looked at the houses and we've, you know, looked at the boats a little bit here, maybe this would be a good time. Are those? We're not even going to get distracted. Those weren't more houses. They were probably duplicates of what I've already seen. Amazing that there's this many options. Absolutely amazing. Let me see this. This will be my little beginner boat right here. 30 star. I don't know how much it takes to earn these stars. I need to find that out. Still haven't found my mount. But damn am I good at finding houses. So let's, <laughs> let's look at this house. Uh, little bit rustic for me um I feel like it's got the like the log cabin look and you see what I mean about having the crafting stuff in there very nice uh nice amount of floor space here 
nice, good amount of floor space. You can cram a lot in here. Uh, the, the chests you can put in there and you can um, increase sort of like a bank. You can put stuff in there. These houses also have permissions attached to them where you can allow people in your guild or people in your family, which you would assign people. So, okay, now this is a small house. I wonder if this is like the other faction's houses? I don't care what faction that is. I want that other house that I saw back there. That's going to be my baby so far. I haven't seen an equal replacement for it yet. But I like this, where you can just sort of go up to the little mini version. And, and you can actually walk in and check it out before buying. I really like this. You can see all of the designs. Now this is 150. And see, the little stars look different. So I think this is the other factions. So I'm wondering, can I put... Like if I'm uh, on one side, can I drop the other side's house? Oh, I'm a little afraid to find out. A bar? Is that a bar? I can have a bar? <laughs> Oh, patio. So this is like the equivalent to the other one that we saw. Mm, I don't know. I really like that Zen theme that was going on with the other one. This one is more rustic. That other one was more Zen. I like the Zen. Oh, wait, let's look at this one. But this one doesn't seem to be two stories, though. This one is too antique and stony, you know? This one has a masculine feel to it. I'm not feeling that zen thing that I was feeling with the other one. You know, I don't like to window shop in real I don't like to shop in real life. But holy hell am I having a good time doing this in this game. I'm ha I don't like the farm either. Amazing. I live vicariously in games because I don't like farming and I don't have a car. I don't want to. But in a game, that's all I do. It's just like I'm a gatherer in games. Go figure. Okay, yeah, this one I had to open the window. <laughs> what is that? Hold up. What is this big brick monstrosity? These are houses. <gasps> Look how much this is. Oh, my God. Oh, this is like the mansions in Star Wars Galaxies. I had mansions in Star Wars Galaxies. <laughs> Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Oh, my God. Look at that epic walk. You're descending into my mini castle. Okay, this has a good amount of floor space on the first floor. Uh, and the dual staircase continues. Wait, what? Well, where's the rest of the floor? Okay. Well, this is just my opinion. But it's not worth the money. Unless this comes with a humongous plot of land. Um, where you can do, like, hella farming. This is not worth it. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They need to add more floor space to this. Definitely need more floor space. What the heck? Listen to the female now. More floor space. Okay. I d more boats. But I did find that I do not have enough gold for a mount. So, thank goodness I had so much fun window shopping. Huh? Wouldn't you like to ride in that? The parties we can have. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know. Links are in the description below. I will see you guys in the next one.